Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. So we've been talking about lessons that we can learn from Genesis from the beginning, how it all got started. And first and foremost, what we've learned is how much God loves us, what he did and how he prepared everything for us before we got here. And secondly, we've learned what God designed us for. He designed us to work to carry out uh, the things that uh, he has uh, to be good stewards with the things on this earth. So there's love, the foundation, there's God's love. Then there's his design uh, that we work, that we be good stewards with the things he's given us. And then what we've also learned is that you and you alone will be responsible for the decisions that you make. And you will not be able to blame anyone else. And uh, what we're going to talk about in this lesson is just how faithful God is. God is faithful. He is totally trustworthy. He's perfectly faithful. His promises, they are certain. Everything he says he's going to do, he's going to do it. His timeless truths and the message, it does not change. Because God is faithful, we can always rely on him, always. We will never be abandoned. That is such a secure uh, feeling for each one of us to have. Because God is faithful, uh, he will all, we can always rely on him, always, always. He will never abandon us. God remains faithful even, God remains faithful even when we're not. Because uh, there are times that we're unreliable, we're not faithful, we're unsure, we're fickle. We're, it's just the way we are as humans. We're living in these uh, bodies that want to be pleased and satisfied all the time. So what he says he will do, he's going to do it. When God says he's going to do it, he's going to do it. And because he's totally uh, trustworthy, we can trust him. He's perfectly faithful. This should confirm to us uh, how true he is in his word. There are many things that we say and do, uh, but we don't do them. But you know, how we can confirm what how faithful God is, is that a lot of things that he said he's going to do, he's already done them. And uh, there are things that's coming. He's telling us that, it's, that they're coming, and he will do them. God is faithful. And that's the one thing that we can learn, or that's one of many things that we can learn in the book of Genesis. That is, he loves us. He designed us for a purpose. We're going to be responsible for our decisions, and he's faithful. In other words, he's going to do what he says he's going to do. So, uh, do you remember this verse in Genesis? And I'm sure you probably heard it. I'm just going to kind of uh, paraphrase it. The day you eat of the tree of uh, knowledge of good and evil, says you will surely die. Uh, he's faithful in that saying, and that is so true. When we go back to the beginning, it helps us to understand how we got separated from God, how death came into this world. And, you know, a lot of people really don't understand that. Uh, they want to know why. Uh, but the Bible is telling us, when we go back into the book of Genesis, we see why uh, death came into the world, how we got separated. But we serve a wonderful God, and he already had a plan in place to save us, to redeem us. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 9 God is faithful. Who he has called. Who is he called? Who has God called? He's faithful in what he says. Who he has called? You. You and I into fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. So he's so faithful. And he's calling us. He's calling each one of us. He is calling you. And he's calling us. He's calling each one of us. He knows our names. And he wants you and I to be with him. Amen. Would you continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we continue to go back to the beginning to try to understand and put together the things that's happening in this world today. God makes it so very clear. We want to follow and be aware of what God is saying to us personally.